Hello, I'm Gary Briggs with Blowline Bowfishing. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the voltage on your PowerMax converter. This will work with both the PM3 and the PM4 series converters. It may work with others, but I can't be certain of that. But first, let's discuss why we might want to adjust the voltage on our converter. Um, if you're running a 12 volt system with a single converter, this probably isn't a necessity for you. However, if you're running a 24 volt or a 36 volt system with either two or three converters, you may run into a problem. Uh, the PowerMax converter uses a three-stage charging system, and it's the first stage called the boost or bulk fill stage that should concern us bow fishermen. So that stage can run anywhere from 14.2 to 16 volts for 15 minutes. At 16 volts with three converters, you would then be putting 48 volts into your battery bank. That could boil the batteries or potentially harm the circuit boards on your trolling motor. Uh, all you need to do the modification is a drill with the appropriate size drill bit to drill out the four rivets, a small Phillips screwdriver, and a digital multimeter to monitor the voltage while you make the adjustment. It's also worth noting that I am not in any way affiliated with PowerMax converters. Um, drilling out these rivets and making these adjustments might void your warranty. So if you have a newer unit and it might be under warranty, you should probably check with PowerMax before doing this. Now I'm not going to be able to show you how to draw out the rivets because I did it a few years back when I installed these in my boat. However, they are located here and here and identically on the other side. So once you drill those out, you'd be able to remove the cover. Now that we've drilled out the rivets and removed the cover, this is what you'll find inside. And it's this little dude right here that you need to adjust. By turning this clockwise and counterclockwise, we increase and decrease the voltage. Now also keep in mind that when you have this thing plugged in with the cover removed, there will be the risk of electrical shock. So you must be very, very, very careful. Okay, so we have our power max and our multimeter hooked up to the battery. The power max is powered on and we're going to turn on our multimeter for our first reading. 15.6, 15.5. Now, being very careful not to touch anything because there is electricity going through here. I'm going to go counterclockwise first. 16.5. So if you have three converters, both putting in 16.5, that is 47.5 volts into a 36 volt system. And now I can't be certain of this, but that might be enough juice to fry a trolling motor. Now if we start going clockwise, we take that down to 14.32. Now keep in mind, this is for the first 15 minutes. So I'm gonna let the power max do its thing for 15 minutes. And then we will check back and see what the voltage is after it drops down into the second cycle. Okay guys, 15 minutes has come and gone. And as you can see, the voltage has now dropped down to 13.23, which is perfect. Uh, we just want to protect the batteries and trolling motor during that initial 15 minute period. That's the entire purpose of making this adjustment. Okay guys, with the cover back on, we can now put a couple of sheet metal screws in place of the rivets. This way, if we need to make further adjustments, we can simply um, remove the screws and have easy access to the inside of the converter. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. Please visit www.bloodlinebowfishing.com. Also, please join the BAA. They protect our rights as bow fishermen. And as always, please dispose of your fish properly and wear your personal flotation devices. Thanks guys.